Hello. So, first of all, look at my fairy nuts. I'm finally the cool vlogger from 2014. And I have white bedding. Look at my white bedding. So aside from finishing my white girl starter pack with my fairy lights and bedding, I have still been in school and I'm really, really loving it. So since I finally found a career track that I'm excited for, and I feel like I have a bit of more stability and direction in my life, I feel very, very calm and confident, whereas a year ago I was just very anxious and frazzled, and I, I'm still that deep down. But in the past year, I've noticed a lot of habits I have that kind of show my deep down hidden anxiety that the world doesn't have to see. Has to see? Ha have, have to see. I should have put jumbling my words as part of the list. But in order for you guys to get to know me better and all of my inner quirks, here is a list of several of my anxious habits. I wanted to make 10, but I couldn't come up with two other ones. This jumbling words would be nine. We got nine. So yeah, here are my anxious habits. <laughs> Pretending everything's fine. So, I know it doesn't really show in these videos because I'm always like, uh -huh, but like in real life, I don't always like bug out like I do for the videos because I'm literally just trying to be funny. So in real life, I think that I'm a pretty laid back person and I don't like bug out. Unless, if I am very, very worried about something, then I am going to deny it and try to show people that everything's fine by acting overly joyful and I'm a really bad liar and so it's always something like Beth, are you okay? I'm good, I'm fine. Why, why would I be anything besides fine? Cause like I don't want to burden people with my problems and so I want them to think that like I'm happy, I, I just, this is me happy, see? But normally when I'm just genuinely happy I'm more like Purposely keeping my face blank. So, when I meet people, I tend to be really nervous and suspicious. And like, the more nervous and suspicious I am, the more I just want to hide my fear. And so I'll force my face to remain expressionless so that they can't see, in case they're a bad person. But like, I'm just a really bad judge of people. And so if someone's actually nice and trying to be friendly, I might still have that blank face when they're trying to talk to me. But then as I kind of defrost and they get to know me after they've gotten this impression that I'm just this very cold, stoic person, then suddenly it's like, surprise, my whole personality's a lie. Eating standing up. I don't really know if this is an anxious habit, I just kind of do it. Because I feel like if I sit down, then I'm gonna be there forever, and then I'll just be like, well, while I'm here, I guess I'll eat more. I put this on the list because I wonder if it's like a subconscious thing where I'm afraid that I'll have to like leave in the middle of an emergency and I'll be sitting down eating and that'll delay me for a few seconds. So in case there's like a tornado or something, then it'll be like, Beth, there's an earthquake, run! Following people. Let me explain. I am a very nervous driver and I get lost easily. So if I'm not sure where I'm going and I just gotta keep a cruising and Google Maps isn't working, then I'll just follow the person in front of me so I don't just like run a red light because that's something that I have done when I'm nervous. I probably shouldn't put that on the internet. Oh well. Like if I have Google Maps pull up on my phone and then it just stops working or it can't find me, I just panic and so I'll follow the person in front of me and just stalk them to their location until I can like pull off to the side and get on Google Maps again. And so it looks like, <laughs> don't mind me, I'm not stalking you, just following you. Cause I don't know where I'm going, yeah. Oh, I hate driving, I hate driving. Sim pans, so. When my sister and I were little, we played the very first Sims game together. And, excuse me, and we just thought it was so funny whenever we would wake up Sims early before their sleep meter got all the way up, and then they would throw a fit. And the way that they would throw a fit would look like... <clears throat> It's a 
And so I started to do the sim hands whenever I would like pretend to be mad or just overtly emotional because it always made my sister laugh. And now I, it's years later and I can't stop. And so it started out as something to make my sister laugh and now it's just an anxiety inducing habit. What fun. Violent sleeping. So this isn't something that I'm like actively aware of making me anxious, but I've noticed that like I've not had a good night's sleep in a long, long time. And I wonder if it's because I'm always anxious because I never dream, or at least I never remember my dreams. I always snore and apparently I thrash very violently when I'm sleeping. And I didn't know that until I had my best friend over one time and she said that it was like, Ripping my skin. So you know that scene in Black Swan where she's in the bathroom and she's like trying to rip off a hangnail? It's like that for me. But it's usually specified to my index fingers or my ring fingers. I usually get this flap of skin and it just bothers me so much and then I rip it off and it looks like this. Finally, licking my teeth. I'm so deeply ashamed of this last one because I hate it when other people do it. It's so nasty to look at. Like anything with a mouth where people like chop when they eat or like click their tongue when they're about to talk. This makes me want to smack them. But I do this all the time because with false teeth I've always had either dentures or implants. And there's just always been a gap between the false teeth and my gums. They don't grind food onto my gums anymore, but the food still gets caught under them. That and I'm always just scared of having lipstick stains on my teeth. And so what a normal person would do would be to finish eating and then go to the bathroom and look in the mirror in the sanctity of the bathroom and check and be like, but if I have lunch with someone, then they're gonna look across the table and they're just gonna see. What? So, yeah, those are my most anxious habits. I hope you guys enjoyed my nervousness. But I'm getting better at hiding it every day. And as always, it is time for this week's Ghost Pepper. Thank you so much, Nina, for following and liking pretty much all of my Instagram photos. Wow. And thank you for watching this. Thank you for tuning in to my awkward little life. And I guess whenever I post next, then I will see you. Much love.